Hi Paper Crafters, this is Robin with Robin's Creative Cottage. Today I'm going to share with you some different ways that I make my milk carton boxes uh, to I make them to different heights. Now I've got a couple different heights here and I'm going to share how I make them. The basic way I make them is all the same other than I change the height from this point to this point. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So to start off with, I've got a great paper collection that I'm going to work with. This is the Recollection Collection Midnight Magic from Michaels. Um, this is this year's collection that I purchased. It's really fun paper in there. You've got a wide variety to work with. And I'm going to go ahead and just start with this paper here. But I first want to show you the template that I work with. And I will, I'll give you the web link that I got. Uh, I'll give you the website that I got this pattern off of and I just printed it um, and I used it as my basic guide and I did change some of the measurements before for example between this width it's two inches but I made my boxes two and a half and I'll show you at that as I do my measurements and then also I'm going to show you this is a, a two inch height when I do my boxes, I'm going to change this height to give you the different dimensions as I showed you with these two different boxes right here. So let's get started. I'm going to, I like to score my paper upside down. So I'll flip it over and my first mark, as I'm following my pattern, I'm working my way this direction on my pattern. So my first score mark, I'm going to do mine at two inches. So I'll go ahead and do a two inch score mark. Now the next mark that I do, that's going to depend on the height that I want my box. And let's say I want this box to be, um, for example, this one right here is a three inch height and we're gonna, I'm gonna do that with this box right here. We'll do three inches. So from this mark, I'm gonna count three inches one, two, three, and that gets me at five. Okay, so I'm just going to make five, scored at five right there. Okay, and then the next ones are going to be the same as I did on my previous boxes. A half inch up from here is going to be six and a half. And then a half inch right there. Now that's going to be my cut mark. This will be the mark that I take my paper trimmer. Okay, just cut on that one. Okay, now I'm going to just turn my box. I've got my top of my box up here. Here. Now I'm going to work for my pattern. I'm going to work from this side over. And this is where I do my two and a half inch marks. I'll do two and a half inch marks three times, and then the last mark is just going to be um, a little half inch mark. So I'm going to take this and go two and a half. The next mark would be at five, then seven and a half, and then ten. So I guess I did four marks one, two, three, four and then I'll do a half inch which will be ten and a half and that right there will be my cut mark okay so right there is how I've done all my scoring marks now I do need to do score my little triangles But I just wanted to show you one more time on how I would do a larger size. Now, again, as tall as you want your box to be. Now, you can also use the full length of the paper. I'm going to go ahead and, and do that on this one. I'm going to do two inches. Now, that's the bottom of my box. Let's see if I've got the bottom of my paper. Yep my two inches. Now I'm going to come on the other side 
And I'm going to do a half inch. That's going to be the top of my box. And then one and a half is going to wear B. Let's see. Yeah, be where I have my triangle pieces. So this full box, full from here to here, where my hands are, is going to be the height of the box. Now here's a box that I previously put together. Now this is as tall as I could go with a 12 by 12 paper. Now the height of this box is nine and a half inches tall. So when it stands up, it's nine and a half inches tall. But this width right here, I believe it's eight. So eight inches, this measurement. Okay, so then remember I turn it the opposite direction and I'm just gonna score the side marks at two and a half, five inches, seven and a half, ten inches, and then ten and a half. Now I will need to cut just that little bit off. Just this little bit off is what I'll need to cut off with, with my cutting tool. Okay, so now you'll remember, you'll need to do on your box, you'll need to do your triangle pieces that you did previously on the other box. You'll need to score your triangle pieces at the top, just as we did in the past. And once you have those scored, you're going to fold your, ball, your box all up on the folds that you made. I finished putting together my two boxes. Now remember to review to the video that I did to when I put together my milk carton box and then you'll know how to put it together. Um, I wanted to show you the finished boxes and I've got another great video coming up showing you a few boxes that I have taken the time to decorate. And I've got a lot of different sizes to show you. So thanks for watching the video on how to make the different sizes for your milk carton boxes. I'm so glad you joined me today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.